Howdy, howdy, what is up? This is Crafty Granny, and it's time again to pop open some crystals here in Marvel Contest of Champions. I'm on my main account. I've been able to save up uh, over 20,000 five-star hero crystal shards and already have a fully formed ready to open up. So I figure now that once I, right now, given the status of my, uh, of my roster uh, and really kind of going on to that, needing more better high-end six stars to really rank up. And if you saw my recent six-star opening when I saved up all those feature crystals and I had that total epic fail... Um, it's time to open up some of these uh, five stars and see if I can uh, do a little makeup here. Maybe get a Captain Marvel, Captain Sparkles. Maybe finally get to the uh, Ghost Rider I've been going after for some time. But anyway, those are a couple of the champs that I'm after. Any high-end champs, given the the status of my roster, that's kind of really what I'm after. Plus any new champs, always in... Always looking for new champs to add in to help with that arena grind. But anyway, like I always do to kind of get the RNG hopefully stirring in the right direction. I always like to uh, pop, in, pop open first some other crystals. Let's open up five of these Grandmaster crystals. Again, I don't see many great champs out of these. So maybe I'll spin one. If I get a five star, then I'll spin it again. Otherwise, I'll pop the other four. Just to see if that'll help any with the RNG. First one out of the gate. I typically only get three stars, so... I think I finally got my first five star not too long ago, but um, typically it's just three stars, which shouldn't be a big shock given the drop rate for these crystals. Hey, at least that was a max sig crystal. Actually, it should have popped in, but I'll pop the next three if I don't get a five star. Any four stars, five stars, obviously. It's kind of anything, anything better than a three star. I'll take anybody out of these. At least another max sig crystal all right so and nothing but three stars no big shocker there that's kind of the like i said the average for me where am i on the drop rates uh, another 80 so getting closer on all of those guys hey three so did out of those five get a, three of the max sig crystals which is always a good thing all right so let's pop open let's pop open all seven of these and i'll spend the first two and then pop the last five before i get into the five stars all right, now that they've added Cole, but for me, and a five-star, I already have him as a five-star. Actually, he's one of my few rank five five-stars, so really getting called isn't going to do much other than to just add some uh, sig points on him, signature ability points, which, you know, I'm not really after at this time. Looking for new people. Hey, I think that's, is that my first dupe for him? I think, let's see. Nope, actually far from it. I've got 80, so... I'll probably be able to take him to 100 with all the uh, six stones I have for mutants. Right, it's the last one that I'll spin out here, and then we'll uh, pop the last five. Nobody in particular, really, for the five stars. Just adding in, uh, getting that ISO, getting those dupes, getting ISO, adding more sig ability to all these champs is really all I'm after. And getting some five star crystals in the process. Alrighty, so let's pop these last five. Nobody knew. No big shock there. Got Blade. Oh, a lot of uh, max. I think three of those were maxed already in terms of their signature ability. Yeah, a four. Okay, right, that's cool. And then, of course, almost 2,000 five-star crystal shards, which is always a good thing. All right, so now on to the main event. Let's pop open these one up. Pop. Let's open up these last three. Let's see how this first one goes. If this first one isn't good, I'll probably pop the second and then spend the last one. Just because I don't, I haven't popped many three stars, so I know some folks have luck when they do it that way. To be clear, it's all luck. It's all RNG. It's all randomized. So, but you know, whatever it takes magic rabbit's foot, whatever, whatever superstition people want to employ. Some people say it does matter when you pop the crystal. So we'll see what that looks like for me here. I did see Mr. Sinister swing by there. I like to get his dupe. I think actually uh, Human Torch. I don't have him duped as well. That'd be nice. But obviously, Ghost Rider is the big. Five star or Captain Marvel would be awesome, and not Cyclops. <laughs> That's not who I'm looking for here. And I don't even think he's a new dupe. I think I've already, yeah, just a power up. So that was not a good example. So, well, I guess I can't just pop one. I have to spin the next one. Then uh, maybe if this doesn't work, then I'll definitely pa pop that last one. If two spins don't give me anything good. And I definitely need to try something new because uh, given the carryover of the RNG from my six-star opening, I definitely need to mix things up a bit. I did see Captain Sparkle swing by. She's been going by quite a bit down there. Haven't seen I did see Call there. Did not see uh, Ghost Rider this time around. Did see him in the last minute, though. But as we all know, it really doesn't matter. 
Let's hope I get one of those champs this time. Hey, oh, Void would have been awesome. Hey, I will take Wasp. I think that's my first time dupe. I already have her at rank two. Decent defender. I've been trying to build up a um, the Quantum Synergy. Just need to get a five-star Ghost. Would have loved to get a six-star Ghost. I already have a, uh, a duped five-star Ant-Man, and now I have a duped five-star uh, Wasp. So all I need is um, the Ghost. So actually... Since I did get a decent hit on that one, I am going to spin this one out. I'm not going to pop it. So maybe now I add Ghost to that list. Ghost, Captain Sparkles, and Ghost Rider. Those are the three. Shoot, out of plus 100 champs, I'm only asking for three specific ones. Yeah, what are my odds? Well, as we all, as I just indicated there, since there's more than 100 champs, it's less than one, 3% chance. It's probably like a 2% chance to get one of those champs. Now Ghost is going in the spinner. Now that I mentioned it, she's swinging by quite a bit. Haven't seen Captain Marvel. No signs of a um, Ghost Rider either. All right, time to open this bad boy up and see who I get. It looks like it is Ronan. Hey, uh, that's all right. Either one of those, none of them are a big deal for me. Proxima, I've had her dupe for some time. Already have her up as rank two. Um, just more sig points there. So out of the three, I mean, and I know a lot of people like Proxima. What is pretty cool, since I was able to get a uh, Captain, or not Captain, but a Squidward out of the uh, Ebony Mall, out of the six stars, I do have him. I have now Proxima Midnight at, uh, as you saw, Sig Ability 60, and have um, Call Obsidian up there as well. So all I need is get Thanos, and I can truly have the Thanos army. But anyway, um, overall, it was okay. Anytime you can get at least one hit out of three, that's that's an okay hit, just given the number of champs that are in this. Not a great opening, just kind of an average opening, but definitely better than the uh, the six-star opening where I didn't really get any hits. This time, at least I got a decent hit. So anyway, uh, hopefully, if you've opened up any of the uh, higher-end crystals, at least higher-end crystals for your rosters, which from some folks with prog progressing rosters could be talking four stars heck for new accounts could even be a good three star you hit so hopefully um for what it, wherever you are with your roster in the game hopefully you have some better rng on and all honestly better rng than i've been having here of late just not being able to get any great champs hopefully you f find a more useful champ out of your next crystal opening if so i'd love to hear about it throw it on down in the comment section let me know who you got um, other than that, if you enjoyed watching this crystal opening, we would really appreciate it if you click that thumbs up button as that really does help out the channel. And uh, if you're new to the channel or have watched some of my videos before and haven't yet subscribed and enjoy what you see, we would really appreciate it if you subscribe. So that's always a good indicator as, as the channel is growing that I'm uh, making content people like to, to watch and I'll just keep on making more of it. So thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great day.